Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the Cambridge Los Angeles showroom in West Hollywood and I'm here with Kovart, Shane and Tim with their web series Devil's Courier. Let's take a look at a clip. <laughs> When I started this club, I had a vision. A vision of forming the toughest, coolest, the most badass motorcycle club around. Our MC was built to protect this community and the people in it. People who can't protect themselves. Let's show them what we're made of. Guys, it's awesome to have you here. Hey, that was a great show. It was? That was brilliant, wasn't it? <laughs> this is the best. It's a brilliant clip. Um, <laughs> let's, let's, um, I don't know who wants to take this because they've got three in the hot seat, but uh, tell us a brief synopsis of your web series. It, it is a uh, incompetent outlaw motorcycle club that is stealing Viagra, or a new form of Viagra called Bonera, which is super Viagra. And uh, hipsters <laughs> on scooters come in and uh, kidnap two of their old ladies and uh, trying to get the Bonera back. So the uh, Outlaw Motorcycle Club has to save the day. I, I love the, that synopsis. You can't listen to that synopsis and not laugh because it's just brilliant. It's absolute <laughs> genius. Um, <laughs> so guys, I mean, it's, it's a really, really great web series. I, I really enjoy it and I, I can't wait even for the next season. Um, now, obviously, Tim, you, you wrote it. Where did you come up with the idea? This actually, it was really Shane's sort of uh, brainchild. He uh, was watching Sons of Anarchy and sort of at a certain point thought to himself, you know, there aren't any comedic versions of this type of story. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the hyper-masculine, hyper sort of almost male evening soap opera version of, of a show, but there's not a comedic version of that. And yeah. so he, you know, thought to himself, why not? We, we could do that. <laughs> so uh, he he actually wrote a bunch of stuff. I encouraged him to just write down his ideas, and we went through that for a little while, and then we started fleshing it out more and brought Kovar in, and he helped out with a lot of the joke writing that was, you know, needed some, some uh, judging, so to speak. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah. and, uh, and then we, we, we rushed right in to get the, uh, the season shot, and uh, yeah. we, we barreled through fast. Well, I mean, you, I mean, firstly, you've got a lot of, a, a big cast there. And honestly, like I just was so, it was so enjoyable to watch the different characters. Um, how and where did you come up with the, with the cast? We cast, you know, some of the stuff that we wrote, we had ideas of friends, you know, that we know as our, our actors being in, in town. For so long. and then we did a full casting session here in town with LA actors and man, we got a bunch of, you know, we just, some people came in the room and we were like, you're literally born to play. How are you born to play? Yeah. Role? Yeah. yeah. You know, we wrote it. Yeah. In our apartments here in LA or whatever. And then somebody comes in and like, God, that is, this fits on you so well. And we had such great attitudes. Everyone who came in and worked on the project, like, man, they gave it. They, they really did give it. You know, hours of time and just, you know, they gave their performances. And I think that's one thing that we all agree on that we, we were just impressed by the cast. Like, the yeah. Well, I mean, it's. Life. It really, I mean, it really shows because there's such strong characters there. Um, you know, you're making a, a web series, which is, you know, it's like having many short films sort of, you know, in one season. Uh, how, uh, how, what is the kind of difference between making a web series to making a, a movie? Is it more difficult? What advice do you kind of have? Uh, I, the only thing is, is just the, the size of it, the size of the, the content. Like our, some of our episodes are two to five minutes long, so that's a, that's a different animal. Mm -hmm. If you're writing something for a 30-minute arc on a TV show, or you're writing something for a two-hour arc in a, in a movie, you know, someone's going to sit down, they're going to watch something for two and a half minutes, and it's got to be a meal, it's got to be funny, and they've got to want to come back next week and see the next episode. Right. And that's, that's, a, that's just, that was the challenge. Yeah. It really is the challenge. It still is the challenge whenever you're writing something like that. Uh, it's a medium. It's just its own little animal. That's the short, super short material. And, and Kova, like, obviously, you know, directing a, a comedy is, is difficult, but there, there's some very, um, you know, quite defined moments. Um, <laughs> was that in the script, or was that something that you'd kind of directed, or...? You know, when we were writing it, we wanted that. 
we want it because I think that's just kind of our thing. Like mm -hmm. that's what we're attracted to is we're attracted to things that have many levels. You know, I grew up watching MASH mm -hmm. yeah. TV show, and there's, you know, you can have silly, ridiculous moments in MASH, and then you can also have tear jerking moments. I think that's part of all of our, just what we like. Yeah. So, yeah, it was fun to, to just kind of shove that stuff in. Oh, it's great. You know? I mean, you make it look very easy, but I guess from Shane's perspective, because you're the producer, um, what was your kind of biggest challenge? What, what is your biggest challenge making this the web biggest, series? I, I think the biggest challenge is the week before we were filming, we, we lost 90% of our locations. Ooh. They were all kind of set in with one person and it dropped out a week before. Wow. Uh, so just putting a uh, production together uh, at this scale and losing that a week before and being an actor in it and just trying to remember my lines <laughs> on top of finding all new locations that that was a huge challenge for us, and uh, I feel like once we made it through that, we, just, we you know, felt like we could make it through anything. And I, I feel like when we got on set, that's where we felt we were the most comfortable, is actually when we were filming, everything yeah. leading up to it, all the paperwork, the casting, uh, locations, all those things were, were tedious, but I, I feel like once we got on set, it just, it just came together. It also seemed like our downfalls, like when we like we lost our set, though, we had a particular actor in mind for one of our roles, and that fell through. And the person that replaced that role, it, it's mind would be mind blowing not to have that person in that role. So wow. That, you know, and it's always great when those things happen, yeah. isn't it? Because you feel like, oh no, the world's come crashing right. down, and then actually a little and angel pops out. Sets. Yeah. yeah. And then the sets that we ended up getting, you know, of course, you know, it cost more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, oh, making deals. Uh, but uh, you know, we were really excited about our cast that we were able to move into yeah. too. So it's happy accident. Yeah, these happy. Once you, when, you, when you have like a real serious fire, mm -hmm. we don't mean that literally, but like yeah. the, the big fire happens and you go, oh God, like there's no way. Like you're yeah. screwed. Yeah. And then you put that fire out. And oh. You're like, oh. It's the oh, best. Yeah, isn't that's it? all we do. That's, yeah. that's how you, you just put the fire out and then move on. And the, the, the next two fires seem a lot less. No, guys, like it really looks like you're having a ton of fun. Um, in this, in, in making this web series, and it really just, it just, it just shows in the in the filmmaking as well, because it's everyone's having such a great, well, not everyone's having a great time. Um, but what is it like when you've worked so hard together, and then to have your web series officially selected for new filmmakers Los Angeles? It's nice. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's validation to yeah. a large degree, and you know, you it's know. Not, it was great uh, last night when we were at the, the event to just see, just to be, you know, when you do a web series. Uh, you know, you're not there in the audience listening to people laugh, and mm -hmm. you know, people are watching this at home at their, you know, over coffee or work, at their work or whatever. And we, you know, this being in a theater projected up on the big screen and having a full audience there laughing at, a, at, at what we've created. I mean, that's just, you can't beat that. Yeah. You know? and we don't, that's the one thing you don't get to get when they're watching it at home, I guess, like a TV series or whatever. You don't get to get that little satisfaction. But we got, we got some satisfaction last night, which is nice. Oh. Well, people certainly responded amazingly well to it, which is just great to, great to hear and have a wonderful audience. But most importantly, where can we find Devil's Courier? Where can we find it? Can you tell us where we can go and watch the series? www.devilscouriers.com, for sure. That'll get you to everything you need to get to. If you um, have an iPhone or uh, an Android phone, we have an app on the App Store, Devil's Couriers. <gasps> you have an app? Yeah, we have yeah, an app. Watch all the content on the yeah. app. Devil's Courier app? Devil's okay, I'm downloading that one. That's great. Fantastic. Well, listen, guys, you did a, doing a, you're doing a fantastic job, and uh, we all really enjoyed it, and uh, we can't wait to see more of your work. And please always work together because it works so well. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.